take the steak out of the freezer the night before because you get in the hang of this. <laughs> Today is steak day. There's a law called Cunningham's law on the internet that says that if you want the right answer, you don't search for it, you post the wrong answer. So what I did was I posted a video of me making a steak about a week ago and everybody all of a sudden had loads of ideas how I should be cooking a steak. So I've taken the best of those and we'll put them in today. See what happens. So there's Cunningham's law, Murphy's law, Sod's law, and there's also Cole's law. Cole's law states that you take thinly sliced cabbage, mix it with mayonnaise. <laughs> I just can't cook like this. The stakes are too high. <laughs> now I'm not exactly a food elitist. I've shown that I'm willing to cook curry out of a jar, cook bolognese sauce, dolmio and all that. Not a problem. One thing I'm not, however, willing to compromise on is a steak should not be cooked anything more than medium. Anything more than medium is a disgrace to the meat. Some of the best phrases for how you want your steak cooked are slap its ass and walk it out to me. I want it so a good vet could still bring it back to life. I mean, cooking a steak well done is sort of like hiring a very exclusive prostitute, getting into your hotel room and then just wanking in the corner. Waste of everybody's fucking time, isn't it? Gonna whack the heat on for the pan and we're not going to put olive oil in because apparently that's wrong you put olive oil on the steak so what we're going to do is put a little bit of oil on the steak a drizzle but a bit of salt pepper oh massage the meat mm. enough olive oil there to go around mm. I absolutely hate the feeling of oil on my hands if somebody threw me into a vat of oil I'd rather kill myself than try to get clean. What's that matter? What's that matter? Mm. Wash your tree. Broccoli. In. That's too big, isn't it? That's too big. I've cut the broccoli in half. Whatever, it'll go in there. Bit of salt for the broccoli. Tractor pan! Get that open as well. We've got a little garlic clove there, look. And we're gonna cut that pure in half like that and rub it onto the steak. It's a sneaky little trick, that isn't it? Flip your steak. Ooh, getting wham in the kitchen. Same again on this side. Take your half of garlic. Ooh, that's wham. Ooh, mind your fingers because it's warm in there. A little bit of butter. Oh, look at that. Getting all that buttery goodness. Mm. For the broccoli, you should be able to take a fork and stick it in. If you're getting a bit of resistance, it's still too hard. Take some tongs, grab the steak, and rest it on its edge. Introduce it a bit more to the garlic. Mm. Hello, Mr. Garlic. You're very hot, Mr. Steak. Oh, yes, I am. Even more so after I've had you rubbing all over me. Mm. All right, take the garlic away. It's getting a bit creepy now. Take the garlic away. Take your steak. Stick it on a bit of wood to rest. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that. Still pink. Lovely. <laughs> Drain the broccoli off. So now what you want to do is plate everything in a very pretentious way. Make sure you use the old kitchen towel trick. Yes, yes, yes. Turn that bloody... Mm -mm, delicious. Crack open a cold Heineken Zero trademark. And you're good to go. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, <sighs> <sighs>